You heard the latest? Ooh, child, I knew that was true from the moment my auntie's friend's cousin sister told me. The Tug. Here's what's trending. In my opinion, think different TVs will share. What's up, everyone out there? This is Lashia, creator of Think Different TV, which airs Monday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and Think Different TV's Player Pass Game Show, which airs Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Think Different TV YouTube channel. And this is In My Opinion with Think Different TV's Lashia. Let's get into it. A former tight end turns Michelle's tight end every which way but loose. Shannon Sharp, the former NFL star and current ESPN commentator was just having a regular day. He decided to engage in some private time activities as one does, but in a twist of fate, his phone decided to join the fun and accidentally went live on Instagram. Unbeknownst to Shannon, his followers were treated to some rather intimate audio. Naturally, the internet exploded with reactions. Shannon's people initially claimed his account was hacked, but later he came clean, admitting it was just a case of him being a healthy, active male who wasn't quite tech savvy. He states, I am embarrassed. Someone that is extremely private and to have one of your most intimate details, the audio heard for the entire world, I'm embarrassed for a number of reasons. I'm very disappointed in myself, not for the act, but to have your most intimate detail heard. Furthermore, he says, I've never been on IG Live. I've never turned it on. So I don't know how it works. And so all of a sudden, my other phone is going off and people are calling me that I've never talked to a day in my life on FaceTime. And I'm like, why are you calling me? He continues, after a while, Jamie, I mean, he said, Shannon, you on IG Live. He says, they can hear. I said, hear me doing what? He says, it sounds like you were having sex. Man, my heart sank. It dropped. His co-host, Chad Ochocinco Johnson, couldn't resist poking fun at him, reminding everyone of Shannon's history of accidental butt dials. Despite the embarrassment, Shannon managed to laugh it off, even reading a cheeky commercial for a male enhancement product on his podcast. Many people speculate Michelle is Michelle Beadle, but she says, it wasn't me. Paul Pierce is mad because ESPN will not be disciplining Sharp. Remember, Pierce was fired after going live with strippers. Scrappy do, but please don't. In a recent live session, Lil Scrappy shared his thoughts on relationships, specifically praising women like Rashida and Yandy. He emphasized that real women don't leave their men, highlighting the loyalty and support these women show to their partners. Scrappy used Rashida and Yandy as examples, noting how they have stood by their husbands through thick and thin, managing both personal and professional challenges. Scrappy's comments sparked a lot of discussions online, with some agreeing with his views on loyalty and others pointing out that every relationship is unique and complex. Despite the mixed reactions, Scrappy stood by his statement, expressing admiration for women who remain committed to their relationships. The kids are all right, or are they? Recently, things took a dramatic turn in the ongoing saga of Ray J and Princess Love's relationship. Following a heated argument, Ray J shared some alarming audio clips on social media. In these clips, he could be heard explaining the altercation to their children, Melody and Epic. Ray J tried to reassure his kids saying things like, Dad never did nothing to nobody, and we're just making a movie. However, the audio slash video raised concerns about him potentially manipulating the situation and gaslighting his children. Princess Love responded by calling out Ray J for his actions, accusing him of trying to manipulate their kids and paint a false narrative. She posted on her stories, This is the only time I'm going to address this. I've been trying my best to be the bigger person and just walk away peacefully. But what you're not going to do is traumatize, manipulate, and gaslight my kids when you can't do it to me anymore. I'll save my videos for the judge. 
This incident is just the latest in their tumultuous relationship, which has seen multiple divorce filings and public disputes over the years. Honorable mention, Kendrick Lamar will be doing the NFL halftime show in 2025. Why is this controversial? K-Dot had an amazing year in 2024 and Not Like Us is a hit still being played to this day. Well, the Super Bowl will be hosted in New Orleans, hip hop icon Lil Wayne's hometown. Most recently, Lil Wayne took to his account to express his disappointment of not being involved. It broke me, and I'm just trying to put me back together. But my God, have you all helped me. I feel like I let all of y'all down by not getting that opportunity, he said. Nicki Minaj weighs in and says it will be their demise while Nas and Jay-Z are backing Kendrick up. In my opinion, I don't think it was reasonable to assume Lil Wayne would be doing the halftime show. The hosting state had a say and Lil Wayne was not a standout for them. At this time, Kendrick Lamar is doing numbers and to be honest, NFL doesn't care. It's business. 11 Super Bowls in New Orleans, Beyonce performed and no one batted an eye. It's a problem all of a sudden that NOLA artists have not done a Super Bowl in their hometown. Give me a break. Ray J is so manipulative. Princess should have let him go way before the babies. Is he putting it down like that? Because no way a dude going to push me in a pool out of anger and I stay with him, marry him, and have kids with him. To record those babies and then post it is given childish. I thought they were divorced. Why aren't they living apart peacefully? Always drama. Scrappy needs a muzzle. I swear every time I listen to his rants, I lose brain cells. Dude, no one wants stupid blind love like Rashida and Kirk, nor Leandy and Mendeecees. They are the classic, that's my man and I'ma stick beside him, knowing they're toxic as hell. Kirk has a baby on Rashida and she stays. Mendeecees goes to jail and Yandy holds him down, but he gets out and is mad that she is getting to the bag and not spending enough time with him. And she stays. Scrappy just mad he was with women who called him out on his bull and didn't stick around for his toxicity. If Rashida and Yandy are real women, I don't mind being fake. And finally, about Chopra, as one commenter affectionately calls him, I guess we could put the rainbow rumors to bed like he did Michelle. (laughs) She sounded mighty pleased. I still maintain there is no way to go live on IG accidentally. Too many steps involved. But if that's his story, who am I to say he's lying? <laughs> Lashia, that's who, never trust a man with a purse. And that was, in my opinion, with Think Different TV's Lashia, what's yours?